Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn how we can plot the residual of the variable in the open form. Uh, we will introduce three different ways. In the first way, we will use the standard residual function and define it in the control directory of the system directory. And in the second way, we will use the Python plot runner. And finally, we can also evaluate a log file by uh, Python plot watcher or even using a GNU plot uh, code to extract data from this log file. We we'll start to use the first way. We will introduce the residual function in the control dict and uh, writing the data in the past processing folder and then plot it. Okay, let us start. First of all, I load my open form version 7, sorry, version 7, and then as you see here, we just have the zero constant and also system directory. Then, uh, since we want to use the residual function, first I use the form get utility to receive residuals. When I enter this one, you can see it suggests two ways. The first one is suggested and I load the first file. Okay, when I check the system directory, as you see, there is a new file named residual. Okay, I open this file by the genie. And as you see here, the field P and U are selected to check the residual of this variable. I change the velocity to the T temperature. Uh, if you would like to follow us, I suggest you to see the previous video about the programming in the open form and also adding the energy equation to the pimple form. Now we continue the simulation by this double field solver. Now I change the uh, field to the pressure and also the temperature. Okay. I back, I open the control dict. Again, when I use the genie, as you see here, here is the original file for the control dict. Now I add a section for myself to define the function. Okay, let's see. As you see here, I have a function. You can list all of the function here, for example, for the averaging, for the defining minimum, maximum, or for prop a data at a specific location. But here we just need to include function residual as we define it in the uh, previous file here, in the residual. Then I save this one and I open a terminal here and I run my execute my solver. I execute thermal pimple form as you see here and no I would like to no I would like to also see the residual as a live plot. I use form monitor as you see from monitor and using dash L option to use a log screen and then I plot post processing residual zero residual date. As you see here we can also evaluate the residual of the pressure and temperature as a live plot. Uh, after a while as you see the temperature residual drop up to 10 to the power minus Four, but for the pressure it is increased and I also have a fluctuation. Okay, if you would like to see the residual value, you can come here. You can see, you can find here a new folder, post processing, and here you have a new directory named residual. And for the residual data, you can find this file. Okay, if you look at there, basically you can find the time columns and also. The variable columns for the pressure and for the temperature as you see the first it is equal to one and basically it is decreased or changed um, to another value and as you see up to the final time that i check it here for the second seven second it is the rapid to this value for the temperature and also this value for the pressure I have to mention here that it is not mandatory to use form monitor utility. 
and you can also use uh, Genoplat or other packages to visualize the data. It is important to say, okay, we have a data in the past processing directory and you can plot it with other packages or utility. Okay, let's go to the second way to plot the residual in the open form. I again clean all of the folders, as you see, then we have just the zero constant and system and also our clean and all run. Um, it is completely clear and we are also we can also ignore the residual or the function that available in the control dict. Okay, uh, I open again the terminal as you see here, but now I would like to use the Python plot runner. When you install the open form, especially from extend version. Uh, by default, the PyForm is installed in the uh, OpenFOAM third-party directory. Now I am going to use PyForm, one of the uh, most important utilities in the PyForm. Its name is the PyForm Plot Runner. Plot Runner. And when you use this utility, it needs application uh, or executable application like the name of the solver for example pimple form ico form or, or so on okay i execute this one and you see what's happened it has started to run the solver by the thermal pimple form the name of the solver and as you see we have a live plot for the temperature pressure for the uh, momentum equation in the x, y, z direction and as you see here also we have a plot for the continuity error and for the global and also uh, cumulative error for the continuity. It is the most easiest way to plot the data in the open form and I prefer to use, personally I prefer to use the Python plot runner. If you need further information about using Python or uh, Python Plot Watcher, Plot Runner, you can come here on the OpenFOAM Wiki website. There is a web page for the Python. You can also see the example and also the installation procedure for the Python. And I have to mention here that if you use the Form Extend version, by default it, it uh, installed the Python in the third party directory. And also the a list of the utility of the Python are available here. And to be more clear, I search for the plot runner, the utility that we already use it. And here I found some um, valuable description. And you can come here also check for yourself. Uh, I think it is uh, the most easiest way to plot the data by using Python plot runner. Another way to plot the residual is um, whenever you have a log file and you would like to evaluate this log file, you can use another utility of the Python. Its name is the Python Plot Watcher. I search for that one. Here is. Okay. Whenever you have a log file, you can use Python Plot Watcher to plot the residual and also evaluate the log file. Now, in the final way to plot the residual, we're going to use this utility and I think it is also easy uh, in compared to uh, using the standard library for the re residual function. Okay, let's start it. I have removed unnecessary file and folder and here we have a clean uh, test case. And now we can also run again the thermal pimple form and write the data in a log file. Okay, here is the terminal I use thermal pimple form and write the data in um, in a log file. Whenever you use this Linux command, that means, okay, um, there is nothing to present in the terminal, as you see also here, and everything uh, have, have to be written in the, a new file name, log file. Okay, I check my folders, and as you see here, it creates a new log file, as you see, it is a new file, and whenever I open it. In the log file, you can see, uh, previously we, uh, we can see this um, text and this data information in the terminal, but now 
uh, we enforce that to run these details and information about the solving the equation and so on in a log file then we can all uh, we can evaluate this log file in different way okay i cancel the running my solver and I stop the simulation right now now i'm gonna to evaluate the log file by using python platfatcher utility Plot whenever you use this uh, utility it needs the name of the log file okay the name of the log file also introduce it here and when I execute this utility after a while it try to read the data from the log file and also to plot the data for the momentum for the temperature pressure and all of the variable as you see here it is like uh, and similar to uh, the residual plot uh, that when I use the Python plot runner but the difference is here we have a log file but in the previous case we don't have any log file and uh, we start the simulation by using platform pl uh, Python plot runner but here we have a log file and evaluate this log file by Python plot runner. and finally if you would like to save your residual plot you can use hard copy option in the Python plot footer and set a format for that, that file okay I introduce it here you can use this option hard copy and set the format for example to PNG or, uh, to be more beautiful you can use also PDF format it is not so important okay whenever I execute this Python plot footer with this option after a while you can see again the plot okay here but actually I cancel the plotting data and here there's two new picture we have already plotted the residual in the open form in three different ways by using a standard library using Python plot runner and also Python plot watcher if you would like to access to the source code of this tutorial and test case and also the solver, I would suggest you to visit the, our website, hyperlysium.com. I hope that you enjoyed this from this video and if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. I try to provide for the video for you and also you have any suggestion, I will appreciate it. Until the next video, goodbye.